boys and girls. Welcome back to Lullaby Bedtime Stories. Thank you for being with me tonight. Tonight's story is entitled, The Empty Tomb. The Empty Tomb. You can find this story in the Bible, Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, John chapter 20. A centurion, a Roman officer, seeing what had happened and how Jesus had died on the cross, he was so deeply shaken. He began to praise God and say, Surely this man is the Son of God. Because the next day was the Shabbat or Sabbath, the Jewish leaders did not want bodies left on the cross, so they asked Pilate to have them taken down. A man named Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the Sanhedrin Council, who did not vote for the execution of Jesus, nor was he present when they cast their vote. He personally asked Pilate if he could take Jesus' body down in preparation for burial. He was accompanied by a man named Nicodemus, who was a Pharisee, who also believed in Jesus and tried to follow him. And he was the same man that visited Jesus by night because he was so full of questions and he wanted to get to know Jesus. So Nicodemus provided 75 pounds of burial ointment mixed with myrrh and precious spices to put on the body of Jesus. And Joseph of Arimathea provided the grave a new grave site and they wrapped Jesus' body with the spices went and wrapped them wrapped his body with linen cloth they wrapped the head Jesus' head separately and they laid his body in the tomb fearful the Jewish leaders ran to Pilate to ask not only would he place a seal on the grave but that he would place an armed guard on detail to guard the grave and to keep anyone from stealing Jesus' body. But you know what boys and girls more than these things they were concerned because they remember Jesus saying before he died that he would rise he would be raised from the dead and because they remembered him saying these things they was trying to make sure that Jesus did not rise from the dead after three days of being in the tomb but early on the third day morning there were there was a violent earthquake for the angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb rolled the stone away with the seal and sat on it his appearance was like lightning. His clothes were white as snow. The guards saw him and they were so afraid of him that they began to shake and tremble and they fainted. They passed out. They lost consciousness. 
when Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the tomb, they saw the angel and he said to them, do not be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women ran as fast as their feet could take them to tell the disciples. They were afraid, but yet they were filled with joy, unspeakable joy. But as they ran to tell the disciples, guess what, boys and girls? Suddenly, Jesus met them. He greeted them. And then they came to Jesus and they knelt down and they hugged his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Boys and girls, Jesus is alive and lives forever and ever and ever more. And he loves you. It is my prayer, boys and girls, that he will watch over you. He will keep you from all hurt, harm, danger, and evil. And he will certainly provide for you. Until next time, this is Lullaby Bedtime Stories. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share Lullaby Bedtime Stories with your friends. All right. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.